I'll tell you, I got some curious questions. Someone wanted to know if the Omega watch is made with fish parts or contains any fish oil. No, the Omega watch doesn't contain anything like that, but I know where that question is coming from because there's been so much talk about Omega-3 fats in the media. And these Omega-3 fats come from fish. So I think that's what generated that question. But first of all, let's establish what is meant by this term omega-3. Omega is the last letter in the Greek alphabet. It means the end. Omega-3 fats are fats, and here's a model of a fat molecule, that have a double bond on the third carbon from the end of the molecule. So the end carbon is called the omega carbon. Omega-3 means a double bond on the third carbon. Um, all right, why all the talk though about omega-3 fats? Because over the years, there have been various suggestions that these fats derived from fish oil are beneficial in terms of reducing the risk of heart disease and perhaps even stroke. And this takes us back to the early 1970s when a paper was published in The Lancet, which is a prime medical journal, it's a British journal, of uh, two Danish researchers who went to Greenland and studied the Inuit and came to the conclusion that the Inuit diet was very, very high in marine fats because they eat a lot of whale blubber and seal meat and fish, and they had a low incidence of heart disease and suggested that this was worth studying. They never actually said that these fish oils reduce the risk of heart disease. They knew that such an association could not prove cause and effect because maybe the Inuit had a different lifestyle. They were more active. Uh, maybe it was not what they were eating, but what they were not eating. They weren't eating a lot of refined foods like sugar. Anyway, this did lead to a considerable amount of, of research. And the research isn't conclusive. And that's not so surprising. Scientific research rarely is. But over the years, we've had a number of studies about people consuming fish and fish oil and risk of, of, of heart disease. What does the most recent research tell us? And I tell you, I'm interested in this because I have a fish allergy, so I can't eat fish. Uh, so I wonder about taking supplements. And there are all kinds of supplements around omega-3, fish oil extracts, whatever. And you can also get them from uh, algae, extracts of algae, which of course is what I would be interested in. I'm not interested in taking a fish extract, but Ask yourself the question, where do the fish themselves get the omega-3s? They get it from eating algae. So we can get it from algae as well. So over the years, there have been a number of studies. Now let's look at some of the more recent ones. And uh, they're sort of interesting. Here's one, a meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is a study of studies. This came to the conclusion that there was no link between consuming fish oils and uh, protection from heart disease. And then we had uh, another study here uh, that actually said that there was not much of a link, except that there was a somewhat lower incidence of heart attack among people who consumed fish oils. And then very recently, we had two major studies. One of them looked at over 25,000 healthy people who for over five years were taking supplements. And uh, it's very interesting how the media interprets these. Just look at this. Both of these <clears throat> interpretations refer to the same study. One of them says that the study was very useful. The other one suggests that it was useless. So it's hard to know what to, to make of this. But putting it all together, my conclusion is that certainly there are great benefits to eating fish. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that. But in terms of taking fish oil supplements, the evidence certainly is not there that these are beneficial. So it may be something else in the fish than the fish oils uh, that is, is protective. Eventually, we're going to find out. And as far as the Omega watch goes, unfortunately, I don't have one. I wish I did because it's a great watch. James Bond wore it in several of the movies. And believe it or not, the Omega watch was the first one to go to the moon. I'd love to have an Omega watch, but whether I should take supplements, that's a different question.